My chair is squeaky. I gotta make sure I don't like throughout the entire interview. <laughs> <laughs> We're dancers! <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Via Carrillo. Welcome back to another episode of For Real Talk. Today I have my friend Ashley, aka Koala. Ta da! <laughs> I never call you Ashley, so I, when I said Ashley, I was like, my no, name is you Koala. Just call me Excuse Koala. Me. Yeah, that's how everybody calls you. So I met Ashley about a year ago, right? Yeah, a little bit longer than a year ago. Yeah, because we were in oh, concert oh, together. We've known each other for more than a year. Happy friend anniversary! Happy friend anniversary! <laughs> This is our friend anniversary video, everyone. Montage. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we made each other in dance, and now she's one of the choreographers for the upcoming dance concert, People in Motion, here at Cypress. Yep. Who Come see Ooh. it. And I'm in her piece, so we, I feel like we've come full circle in a, in a sense. Yeah. It's great. It was the same time that we had our rehearsal last time, too. Was it really? It was. And oh, my gosh. Dance. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so great. Same room, same time, same dance style. That is so true. <laughs> full circle an actual full circle that's crazy what the heck all right so go ahead and tell everybody here who you are who you is and what you do i'm ashley Ka aka koala i am an english major and mm -hmm. i also dance i love storytelling that's why i like english and dance so much i feel that they kind of coincide together dance really is my passion it's where i feel most comfortable and i get to meet wonderful people like sarah here who i love so much I love you too. She's so um, great. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> I do not lie. Honesty is my thing. I had to zoom in for that one. <laughs> so as I mentioned, Ashley is one of our choreographers this semester. She's actually a student choreographer. So yeah. want to talk about your piece and like yeah, what sure. we're doing? Sure, sure. So uh, my piece, it's called Safe Haven. And I call it that because really this piece has been like my personal safe haven for the past couple years. I started working on it about two years ago yeah two years ago in um a choreography class and it was the only piece that i really liked that i did out of the whole semester and i was like you know what this would be a really cool piece as a group because originally i choreographed it as a solo for mm -hmm. myself and i turned it into this big dance number and i was gonna submit it for last year's show but i was like eh, better not i didn't have enough time last sem or last year not last semester i don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> so i kind of worked on the storyline of it a little bit mm. more and developed it i actually used it for one of my english classes and turned it into a full-on story and then i submitted it this year didn't expect for it to get in just kind of was like uh you know I, if i never try i'll never know situation i put it in and then uh our teacher was like yeah you're one of our student choreographers and i was like what what do you mean? Like <laughs> a what? Um, Sing it. But then it got in, and then uh, I got to have my beautiful cast, my queen of the river right here. That's me. <laughs> um, and basically, the storyline is that it's about this girl who's in this relationship. Um, I kind of envision them as like a romantic relationship kind of thing. They don't really get along. They loved each other at the beginning of the relationship, and it kind of faded away. Um, the guy kind of gets a little borderline abusive kind of thing and uh, the girl kind of runs and she stumbles across this magical river. Sarah! <laughs> Sci-fi fantasy, here we are. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the river um, really likes this girl and they want to like take her in and protect her and they find out that this guy is basically like beating her up and not treating her well and they really protect her and they kind of fend him off. At the end, well actually no I don't want to spoil the ending, you guys gotta come see it. That's what yeah. we're not spoiling Endgame, we're not, we're not, spoiling. We're not spoiling this. <laughs> Don't spoil the motion. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Don't leave me hanging. Sorry, I looked down for a hot second. And then I was like, yeah, it's my head. Ooh, right. So tell us where your passion of storytelling came from. Because you are an English major. And you are an English major first. Yeah. I understand? Yeah. Okay. And then you also do dance, which I know you have a background in figure skating. Yes. So um, I started figure skating at the age of two. And I started competitive figure skating. Um, I trained with a couple Olympians. I'm very much of a perfectionist and I push myself to the limit kind of thing and they really taught me about like how really performing can bring out the best in people and how I can tell stories and how I can evoke emotions in people and I uh, went from figure skating I got injured couldn't do it anymore unfortunately um, I went to cheer for a little while but you know I was just kind of like eh wasn't really my thing I did it for a couple seasons my freshman year of high school um, I had to take an elective and I was like well I guess we can do dance it's an easy A 
So I took it, didn't really uh, get any, like I didn't really have any expectations for it. I didn't think I'd get anything out of it. I fell in love with it and I started dancing at a studio and here we are. When I came to college, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And my parents were like, well, you know, you're really good at English and it was something that I enjoyed. Funny story, I actually hated English in elementary school. It was my least favorite subject. <laughs> I hated to read. I was that really? kid. Because my teachers would always like force me to like, you have to read this specific book and I never liked their reading recommendations so I was like, Ugh. I'll read it really quick so I can get to the rink. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a really good fr um, English teacher my freshman year and my whole life I had been told like, you're, you're not a good writer, you don't speak well. And my English teacher was like, no, they're crazy, like you write really well, you just haven't been taught properly. So he kind of took me under his wing and taught me how to do all of that and I fell in love with English. So I got to college and I was like, yeah, sure, I'll major in English. I saw when I started at college that you can really really do like different types of storytelling in that too and that it really does connect with dance. I love that. Hold on. I want to point out the fact that everyone who was in elementary school said that you weren't good at English yeah. and it took one per, like professor, one teacher one in high school yeah, my to first tell you you were teacher. good and for you to believe that and then just run with it and then yeah. it just like changes it your life. It took a lot of work. Like, I mean, you know, people tell me all the time things about myself and it takes like a while to yeah, like, yeah, yeah, for sure, sink for into sure. my brain. <laughs> yeah, no, but like that's how it is. I feel like that's how it is like in the arts, like just to tie it back to the arts. A lot of people can say, let's say you go to like several auditions. Sorry, my chair squeaking is happening again. But you go to a lot of auditions, say like dance or theater or like film or whatever it is. And then you get so many rejections where you just start thinking like, I should just not audition anymore. Yeah. Like maybe like in La La Land, how she was just like, I've been doing this for six years and like she didn't get anything yeah. for six years. And it just takes that one person to believe in you. And then for you to just it be does like, wonders. It does wonders, right? Like, honestly, right? Someone to just give you a chance and opportunity, and then you just run with it, and it changes your life. And I will say too, like, um, we just had second showing um, over the past weekend, and I, I wasn't expecting to get any good feedback on my piece. I don't know why. It was just the doubt in myself, not my cast. My cast is great. Like, there's such blessings in my life. It's the doubt in myself, mm -hmm. kind of thing of like. Are people going to like my choreography, not necessarily how it's performed? And I got a lot of good feedback. It did a lot for like my confidence to like boost me up a little bit. I don't know. How are you enjoying your time in my piece? I'm I like it. Out, yeah. I, okay, here's the thing: lyrical and contemporary and ballet and like technique stuff is not really my thing. Just because I was like, I'm more used to doing hip hop. Hip -hop. Yeah, I've been doing hip hop since sophomore year of high school. I took like a. Uh, oh, really? That long? Yeah. See, I didn't even know. The more you know. Oh. Well, yeah, I did it. I took uh, classes for about a year. There was like um, like an after school program thing at a ballet studio. Mm -hmm. And they were like, come take some classes. And I was like, it's free. Let's go. I want to dance. I want to try it. And then I knew it. Like, I was like, okay, this is really fun. I'm like, you know, having a ball. And I did it with yeah. friends and my sisters. And then after that, um, I went to a public high school. And so I wasn't able to go anymore. Right. So, like, this freaking sucks. But then I had theater there. So I was like, all right, cool, let me just, you know, do theater. Yeah. And then I was like, I'm not really a dancer. Like, I tried one time. I, I tried. did ballet when I was, like, three for, like, a couple months. Same. You know what? Funny story. I did ballet, like, because my figure skating coaches recommended it. And uh, my teacher was like, yeah, you really shouldn't dance. <laughs> like, because I was LOL, like, sir. Oh, right? <laughs> circle. Full, full circle. <laughs> I was that kid that, like, you know how, like, in the talk classes, they have you, like, jump over the pillows? I was that kid that couldn't do it. Oh. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. I didn't want to do it. Like, I didn't want to put on my tap shoes. My parents had to, like, constantly be like, okay, hey, Ashley, you got tap. That's so like, interesting because I'm the complete opposite. I would always mimic exactly what my teacher was doing. No, that's, what knew, that's what I knew. That's what I knew as an actor. I was I, like, I'm... Okay, I wasn't used to the, like, class setting with other kids because, like, I was, like, that three and four year old that had like the intense like three to four private lessons a week at the yes. ice rink like kind of thing and I was like I didn't like doing the little stuff mm -hmm. like it was like okay once I got the little stuff I want to move on kind of thing yeah like, I would watch the older girls like teenagers skate around the rink and I would try to do what they would do so I was like always really advanced over my age so I was like yeah. standing here and I'm like with all these other four year olds I'm like we're just jumping over pillows I did it once and I was like all right what's next <laughs> like, that's so much. great that's so um great. but they were like yeah they were like after my first year nah she shouldn't dance anymore <laughs> it's because she's advanced okay I put her in AP ballet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> AP ballet. I'm already ready with that tondu and like <laughs> I don't want it. none of this. Where are you flying to today? Like nonsense. Oh I'm like, gosh, where yeah. you like you sit in butterfly and you like flat little wings. I'm like, yo, let's get ready for the splits. Like <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And here I am. Now I dance. Advanced level. Where she should be. Advanced? We're college level. I don't think I'm that good. We're on college level. And we're holding up pretty okay. I, pretty I, okay. I, we're holding up, I hope. Sometimes oh people God. look at me and they're like, you know, you're a really good dancer. And I'm just like, 
No. I do that too. You no, know, I compliment you all the time. Thank like, you. I feel like I go, you, don't under, you don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, takes, it takes a while to get into her head here. To get into our head. True. It's fine. True. And I think <laughs> also just because like, I feel like I'm at a beginner level. Because I know people who have been dancing for like five, six years or something. And I took a class for about a year in high school. And it wasn't even at my high school. And then I started two years ago here. Two, two-ish years ago here. Two-ish? <laughs> yeah. Well, technique-wise. Because I did ballet when I was a kid, and oh, then, yeah, yeah. and that was, you know, like that, you know, it, it, it was like those tiny taut ones where, like, I was doing it with my sister, but the thing is, I would want to stay, because class would be over, and I'd be like, we're not um, done yet, I want to still dance. You know, I'd be like, let's get out, bounce. <laughs> like, <laughs> she was done, I was like, is there anything else we can do? I still want to dance, and then the next class was tap, and then, I remember this one time, that I did stay for another tap class, mm -hmm. my mom didn't pay for it, but they, like, they were like, oh, she wants to stay. She doesn't have any tap shoes. It's fine. She can go to their ballet shoes. So I tapped in ballet shoes. I don't know what I did. Oh my god. But Daniel yeah. would be so proud. <sighs> Daniel, I did it. Daniel, we miss you. <laughs> Kina, I did it. <laughs> and then my mom noticed that like I just didn't want to leave. So she was like, as punishment, she pulled, punishment. As punishment, she pulled both me and my sister out of dance classes. So I was like, Mom, I could be so much more advanced by now. Like my technique would be <laughs> on point. But you know what? It's fine. I'm oh, starting. Oh, I'm I starting we, now. I wish we had a point shoe so we could be like on point. On point. That's the oh thumbnail God. right there. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so interesting that like we started like completely opposite. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, hello, I'm Sarah and this is Ashley. No, I was talking, talking about our dance career. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're like, I want to stay. I'll just like peace out. This is for me. This is so where's, boring. Where's my skates? I mean, I also train in martial arts, so... But I know. Not, I know. I, I highlight that. You might. <laughs> you got I do. Two I get hands. to. I get to do so. I get to use my martial arts skills. Oh, poor Anthony. <laughs> we have so. different levels of yeah. people because yeah, we have some who have really not do. danced before. Some have different styles of dance that they're yeah. like. Be it's, not better at, but that's there. It's been quite a challenge to do that, actually. It's been quite a challenge to try to adapt to everyone because it's like I'm trying for my more experienced people to give them stuff that challenges them. Mm -hmm. Maybe if it's not even necessarily the moves per se, because it is kind of a simple dance. Mm -hmm. I've gone very simplistic with this one to challenge them more with like the storyline and the emotion and like not just going through the motions, but really feeling and connecting to the story. Because I feel that it's important when we do stuff like this that. You never know in the audience who's going to relate to yeah. this story. Like, I don't think anybody's going to relate to finding a magical river that's going to protect them from something horrible. But everybody goes through some really yeah. horrible stuff in their life. And I'm sure they can relate to, like, my main girl in some way or another. Even, like, the river, who's this protective force, they can relate to it in some way. Of Like, when you see your friend or somebody in your family who's hurting, like, helping them and feeling like... I'm doing everything that I can do, but it's not enough. Mm. Kind of thing. Like I know we felt that at times. We oh, talked yeah. about it. Like, yeah, all the time. <laughs> but right, like you always want to do more, so they can relate to it in some way. So it's really important for me for my cast to really show that in the dance. Like I want people to get that. That's more important to me than the actual like doing the steps per se. Yeah, like it's like the heart of storytelling as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, storytelling is like my big thing. Like, even if a dance doesn't have a storyline, if the choreographer comes to me and says, you know what, this is just a dance, just a dance, I find my own story yeah. to tell in it kind of thing and I create this character that I'm bringing out and I want you guys to kind of do that too like that's why I dance it's not even necessarily like I like to move per se <laughs> it's more of like I like to tell stories in different ways whether it be through writing or theater or dance or anything because I do have a little bit of theater background too mm -hmm. I wasn't very good at that <laughs> <laughs> just theater without words true 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 yeah. and that's the thing like for me like personally specifically for me personally transitioning from theater and acting and seeing how that could translate into dance because it's different but also similar yeah. to me dance especially concert dance is like acting it is, is like acting without words yeah. you have a persona you have this character you have someone that you're trying to represent in the world or out of this world sometimes things are really sci-fi yeah. a magical it's river a magical <laughs> river you know? and then just personifying that and like really feeling what that character or whatever that thing is is going through because you want the audience to be able to get it yeah take them on the journey with you yeah. i'm sure there will be some people in the audience who will have no idea what's going on or have their own interpretation or have their own interpretation of it but you know what i don't really care what their interpretation of it if it evokes some kind of emotion in them then i feel i've done my job even if only one person gets it 
even if only one person in that audience likes it and was like, you know what, that piece spoke to me, I did my job. My supervisor for this piece, she actually said at our last rehearsal, you know, we don't know if the best way to tell the story was through writing or through dance. I don't know if you remember her saying mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So I was curious to see, all right, well, it started off as a dance and then I put it into words and it was really well done or it came out well with words. So I was really curious to see in a full group with a big number of people, would this story look good kind mm -hmm. of thing? Would people be able to get in? Would this be the best platform to put it out there on? We hear a lot of stories about abuse and that's, in my opinion, that's not really what the story is about. It's more about the river and the journey with the river. And I feel like it makes it unique that it's a river because how many people come up with Ah yes, here's a girl and she's going to go and flee and this magical river is just going to take her. Is that good? Do I pass? <laughs> Do you pass? Sure. Do you invite me back? <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, that's it. Thank you so much for coming on this show with me. You know Ooh. I love you. Ooh. Oh, me too. Alright, so come see People in Motion if you're in the area. Links down below. Um, I'll leave a link so you can follow Ashley as well. And follow me too, please. Um, and subscribe for more videos. Woohoo! And yay! <laughs> oh, I love these. I, I told I've talked to people and it's like super dope. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Huggins. Well, so Huggins like... too. I like I like Huggins and like talking to people. But that is all for today's episode. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, let's talk in the comments. I don't know. Let's talk about something. About dance, about English, about storytelling. About Avengers! Let's go! Don't spoil Don't the spoil ending. it, but let's talk about <laughs> Avengers! And yeah, that's it. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!